morning, everybody. Woke up here at Radisson, Saskatchewan. And this is our load that we picked up last night. Load of lumber going to Wadena or Wadena, Minnesota. Central Minnesota. My tarps tied onto the back there. We're ready to hit the road today. Okay, actually, I'm not ready to hit the road. I've got a flat tire. Okay. Okay, never mind then. So that must have just happened because I just checked my tires where I was parked in my parking spot and I just rolled up here to the building that to walk inside. Now I've got a flat tire. So I'm gonna take a little bit here, uh, a bit of time. I gotta figure this out. Find out where the nearest tire shop is. That's why I always do the walk around twice, I guess. <laughs> so strange, I didn't even hear it lose air I just drove like I rolled it I didn't even drive it I rolled it maybe like a hundred feet not even must have driven over something so I'm gonna call up fountain tire see if they can come out and help me they'll be coming from Saskatoon yay hi there uh I'm sitting in Radisson, Saskatchewan at their, uh, I think it's a Red Bull truck stop. I've got a flat tire on my truck. I was wondering if you guys would be able to help me. Well, this is part of trucking. He's gonna be here in a couple hours. He's gotta come with a service truck and a new tire. I don't know if they can patch it here. I've never had a tire patched like away from the garage by a service truck that comes out but I might just be getting a new tire. Told him what tire I needed, so he's probably gonna, he's obviously gonna bring one with him. Huh. Well, I'm glad I didn't actually, you know, hit the road like that. <laughs> you imagine? You know, the reason I, I checked on it was because when I was walking towards, walking around the truck, they're showing you the load, saying, hey, we're ready to go. like. I had my coffee ready and everything. The truck was all good to go. I saw my uh, drive tire back here. Looked low. I was like, why does this tire look low? Walk the past one, it's got air. I'm like, maybe I gotta check the tire pressure, right? And then I check the inside tire. Oh no. is flat but it doesn't look like it's blown out so I'm thinking that we could get it patched so if he does give me a new tire what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep this tire if he can't patch it here I'll put the new tire on I'm gonna keep the old tire I'm gonna take it back home bring it to the tire shop there get them to patch it put it back on here and then save the new one for when I get new drives then I only need to buy seven drives instead of eight because I'll have the other one that, that's the plan right now. Best case scenario, he can patch it right here. But worst case scenario, I'm gonna get a brand new tire. So weird, right? Because I was parked right over there for night, right there in the corner. Went around, all the tires, they were all good. And then all I did was I just creeped it, like in like second gear, just creeped it over there beside Bison. Just because, admittedly, I was a little lazy and I didn't want to walk across the whole parking lot. So I creeped it over there. 
and somewhere from there to there, I picked something up in my tire. And I didn't even hear it go Pew. Like you remember uh, that happened to me before on video, I was filming, I was vlogging and we heard the tire blow out behind me or I heard it get pierced and all the air rushed out, right? And so I went and got it fixed right away. I didn't even hear that now. And I wasn't even, I would have hit the road like that because I wasn't even gonna show you the load, right? I was gonna jump in the truck and go. And then I thought to myself, you know what? No, I didn't get to show you the load last night yet. I should show you what's on my trailer. So I went into the truck, grabbed the camera, and that's when I walked back here, showed you it. And on the way back in, I noticed the flat tire. Man, that could have been bad. Because if you go down the road, highway speed, especially loaded like this with a flat tire wobbling around there on the rim, oh, I think it'd shred up. It would rip off my mud flap hanger for sure. The nice ones that I put on there would rip that off, might have ripped my, my half fender off. Would have done a lot more damage. So, speaking of stuff on the ground, look at this. That's not what I hit, but it shouldn't be there. So he said it would be a few hours. We have an account with Fountain Tire, so uh, we'll see the bill for it later. For now, the big thing that is costing me is time. But like I said, it's a good thing we didn't even hit the road yet, so I guess we'll just fiddle around here for a few hours until we get fixed up. My guy's here! Woo! Nice! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's almost five o'clock. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was starting to get a little worried. I was feeling the twinges of impatience. I called them probably, what time was it? Uh, it actually wasn't that long ago. It just felt like it. Probably around like what, 11 a.m., 12, 12 o'clock? Five hours and they were busy. I mean, that's not so bad actually. Eh? It just felt like a long time. The sun's starting to go down already. I still haven't started my day. He's out there now. He's gonna get it all fixed up and uh, then I can start. I'd like to make it down to Minot, North Dakota at least today I'm gonna cross the border at least that's that's so if I don't cross the border that's a fail crossing the border is the goal what would be a consolation you know what my not is the goal crossing the border is the consolation not crossing the border is a fail it's my standards for how far I want to get today tire's not patchable. I'm gonna have to replace both the drives. You can't just replace one one drive. You gotta replace them as a pair. Otherwise, they'll, the wear will be crazy uneven. So I'm getting two new drive tires. They're Goodyear's. So I have nothing against Goodyear. Uh, a tire is a tire. I'm just replacing two right now. It's just really gonna bother me that I have two brand new drives and six six not brand new. <laughs> they're, they're like uh, about over halfway down. I was gonna replace them next fall, all eight. But now I'm gonna have two that are different and a different tread than the rest of my tires and that's gonna drive me nuts. So we're gonna have to do something about that. I might have to just buy all new drives. <laughs> uh, no need for that. I don't wanna spend all the money if I don't have to. At least we're getting it rolling now. So I'm keeping the good tire. The one that we had to replace, but had nothing really wrong with it. Taking that home to my shop. Just in case, you never know. You never know when you, you'll, you'll need a spare tire that's half worn. Any of you want to buy it? That's not going anywhere. While I'm back here, turn off the lights. I'm gonna be driving into the night. Blue's warming up again. I'm gonna 
show you these new tires. Went with Goodyear's, like I told you before. Uh, it wasn't too many options for me, but uh, it was my best option. Let me get this light on here for you. There, okay. So the tread is definitely more aggressive than my old tires. See my old tires are here. They're, these are Firestones. We're looking at Firestone uh, FD692. And these are Goodyear's uh, G182s. My tires are 295 slash 75 R2 22 and a half. Uh, and I couldn't just replace one, right? Because otherwise I'd have this one tire with all this tread on it. And the next one beside it, which doesn't work well. So if you replace one, you got to replace them both. But now these tires don't match all my other tires. And that's going to drive me nuts. Figure out what to do about that. I wasn't ready to buy all new drives yet. It is what it is. I own the truck, so I own the problems. Let's get going. It's now after six o'clock. All right. It's been a day, so I got myself some pizza. This is the Red Bull truck stop in Radisson, Saskatchewan. My goal is still to get across the border into the United States today. I don't know if I'll make it to Minot. That's about seven hours away, maybe eight. We'll see what happens. I still, I want to get across the border. That's the goal. But it's been a little bit of a day. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but it's been a day. Let's go. All the tires now have premium winter air in them. Don't worry, I didn't forget to make sure that uh, he was putting winter air in the tire. Both of them. So we should be good to go now. We'll switch it out in summer again. These tires have got some really good tread on them. Get some really good grip on the snow. So I'm thinking of changing out all my other drives to the same ones as this. But I'm going to split it up. I think I'm going to wait about three months. I'll replace the other two on the back. Maybe even six months. We'll see. And then I'll, rep I'll replace the two in the front a couple months later. I want to sort of split it up so that I'm not buying eight tires all at once. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It's just something that crossed my mind now. Maybe buy like two tires every three months over the course of a year. That way I can spread out my cost a little bit because these tires are probably going for around 600 bucks each. I haven't seen the total uh, total price of it yet. It goes on the account, so I'll get the bill at the end of the month or next month. But it's probably going to be about a $1,500 bill here for these two tires and the service call. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate that. So it's going to be a nighttime ride tonight. I'll take care of you, old blue. Don't worry, I got you. Got a couple of new shoes for you.
Petro Pass. We're uh, still in Canada, just before the border. I was gonna call it a night here, but this is a lot fuller than I expected. Looking at the parking lot here, I'm gonna do a lap through here to see if I can find a parking spot, but might have to keep going. I know I had said that it would be a fail not to cross the border at least tonight. I was willing to accept that because it's been quite the day and I'm tired. But if I have to, I'll keep going. Let's go and see what it looks like in here. There's already people parked along the side. Making parking spots. barely but we made it over the border which is right over there that was the goal for today right to get over the border I almost bailed and said you know what we'll stay on the Canadian side but there was no parking anywhere it was all filled up so I was forced to complete my goal got over the I wanted to get to Minot but I was just too tired all those tires being replaced waiting all day for the tire guy and ah, I got as far as I could and I got tired so we can do the rest tomorrow. So tune in for tomorrow's video. Today's video was pretty much just about the tires, but if you like tires, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, uh, feel free to hit the thumbs down button twice. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. All the, all the buttons down there.